Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more The Suffering. When we last left off, we made it back into the actual uh, prison. We found ourselves a chicken gun, which... Uh, sure, I guess? I mean... I've no... Oh, end of the level there. An eye for an eye makes the whole world blind. It does. But it's necessary. Yeah, we found a chicken gun, which, uh, I mean, was a thing. Not sure how potent this chicken gun is, but I'm sure we're going to find out at some point together. Condemned. Do not enter. Aight. Definitely been told that once or twice. Oh, hello. Oh. Oh. The other side of this. Room. How interesting. Oh no. It's back. It's starting again. It never stops. Just keep burning. You won't let me go. <laughs> I think we got something in common. Ooh. We know what love is. We know what it is to love a woman. You do anything for us. Am I right? Uh. And something else we got. We know what it is to lose it. Lose it all. To not be in control. Scalding. Remember what Oof. I was doing before. Picked up some guy, whatever. I got screwed by the system. <laughs> Fuck him. Got screwed by something. There is response. Alright, alright, let's just be careful here. I don't quite know what's hurting me here. I know that. Ah! I know that big wave in the middle is definitely unpleasant. Yeah, I'd love to hear your dialogue, dude, but. All I can hear is ambient sound effects. Terrible game mix. Fuck's sake. Really? Am I trapped in this? There we go. <laughs> so, he's talking about banging his old lady. <laughs> yeah, uh... We're, we're, we're working on it, buddy. We're certainly working on it. Um. Thank you. You're welcome, dude. Um, Horace, eh? So he fucked his uh, woman on a conjugal visit, visit, and then he sliced her up. Um. Alright, I mean, sure. I get the feeling they're just trying to make up a, a, a fucked up tale just for the sake of it. I mean, that definitely works. Uh, you know, it's... Uh... Oh, we're going... Are we supposed to be going back out here now? Oh, whoa. We can't go back down that way. Uh, I mean, he was kind of helping us. I thought he was... Um, an executioner or something. I didn't realise he was an inmate. But, you know, whatever. He's dead now. So, well, is he? I guess. I mean, we electrocuted him. But he was made of electric. Possibly too much electric. Is gone. No, it's just you. Yeah, I guess so. You're going to be a little bit harder to do, uh, deal with, I think. You know, being made of gas and all that. Um, not sure how we're going to get around that little matter. But I'm sure we'll come up with something. We usually do. 
I don't know if that guy in the beginning... Um, I'm not sure if we could have saved him. We will meet again later. I look forward to it. Yeah, me too, pal. Um, be seeing you then. Later. So, Horace was the guy that we just whacked. Horace. Horace. Many inmates break once inside Abbott, but none have snapped more extremely than Horace Gage, who, the tale goes, became convinced his wife wasn't safe without his protection and sliced her to ribbons during a conjugal visit. He ended up in the mercy chair, electrocuted by Abbott's then executioner, Hermes Haight. For years, mm. inmates have said he haunts Abbott. And I believe I saw him ten minutes ago. I surely wish I had not. Incidentally, uh, the guy that wrote this notebook, Clem, he was the one that was uh, showing us how to use the Molotovs. Which um, I only actually realised when I was editing the videos, for some reason. Unless I already mentioned it and just forgot, which is also certainly possible. You know, my memory has uh, atrophied Hello. a decent amount as I've got older. Um, and it wasn't great to begin with, you know. Oh, hello, you little fuckwit. Yes, very droll, very droll. Didn't like that, did you? Damn it. No way. No fucking way. You, oi. Enough of that. Trying to kill you, not make out with you, piece of shit. All right. Oh, hello. Thought I could hear something squidging around down here. Little fucking turd. All right. Yeah. Uh, interesting game. This. Ah, oh, dude, we're right back at the beginning. Yeah, man. Okay. Blood still dripping from the floor. This is where we spoke to the woman on the phone. Is it where we spoke to the woman on the phone? Possibly. This is where we found a load of stuff. Obviously where a load of guards died, which, you know... Rested pepperoni and all that. Sarah is very quiet now. Ah, that's where we used the old blower. Ah. And the toilets. What I like about this bit is it looks like there isn't actually like any more stuff. It's all the same stuff that was here before. Uh, you know, and a load of the bodies are still here as well. It's really cool. I can appreciate that. Really does kind of give the illusion... Oh, we're going back to the cell. I guess so. Is that you, Daddy? Uh, possibly. Who's asking? Is that you, Daddy? Hi. Is that you, Daddy? Yes. Certainly is. Is that you, Daddy? Okay, well, I guess a sweet FA we can do with him. Ooh. <laughs> oh! Oh, what? Alright, so we can decapitate him. That's fun. Alright. There has to be something more here, surely. Surely. Right. Daddy, oh. I love you, Daddy. You wouldn't hurt us. No, of course we wouldn't. Dad, I'm over here. Hey, son. I'm coming. I gotta talk to you. Well, Don't I'm you here. Wanna see me? I'm... You're not so bad, I guess. I just wish you'd always been there, you know? Well, okay. T, 
Over here. Hello. Something broke in you in that group home, T. And I didn't have enough time to fix it. There's beauty in you. I could always see it. Stay strong for me, okay? Okay. But... Uh. Hey, not you again. Thought we... I mean, I guess we didn't quite kill this guy. Killjoy's diagnosis. Here we go. Here we go. Things are, oh bloody hell. Things are gonna get a lot worse before they get better. Yeah, you can fuck off. Oh goody. That's fine. That's fine. Killjoy's diagnosis. Ah, that will probably be uh Yeah. Aha. Let's have a squiz. Um, patient name Talk. Really? They put his name down as Talk? I mean, okay. Date always. Oh, I see. This is a bit silly. Always and forever. Dr. Killjoy, of course. Diagnosis delusional, paranoid, multiple personality disorder. Slight. A uh, patient seems to be under the delusion that at a time of high stress and or when threatened, he actually transforms into a hideous creature. Truth, of course, this only happens in his own mind. He never leaves human form, and it's only sheer adrenaline that makes him astonishingly strong during this period, allowing him to wreak extreme havoc indeed. And um, we can't apparently read the rest. Of course we can't. All right. All right, well, whatever. So I guess Dr. Killjoy was like actually a thing. I don't know, man. This game is weird. Apparently like the story in this game changes slightly depending on the ending and stuff, so. All right. Hello. No running in my hallways. Let's pop all these brains as we go. Not to leave any witnesses. Are you going to wake up? Well, we're not going to give you the chance. Come on, you maggots. It's a shame, really, when we decapitate these things, they don't die. I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense that they don't, given the... You know, what these things are, I guess. Wait, does it make sense? I don't know. Okay. Men. Ah, yeah, this is where we first met that security guard, isn't it? Yes. I remember he... Well, I guess we're going deeper underground. You can kind of hear our, like, footprints. Or footsteps, I should say. So, I guess we can go that way. Can we go that way before? I'm not sure. Probably don't want to do that. Can we turn the light on? Yeah, let's turn the light on. Oh shit, we're almost talking of the light. We're almost out of batteries. Oh, hello. And they are actually murder rats, because they had blood on them. Which is curious. The murder rat's going to spawn, like, every time we get over here. Possibly? Or they're just going to infinitely loop around. Oh, the end of another level, I guess. Who wants to deny forever? Uh, the Pied Fucking Piper. <laughs> I 
up, man. <laughs> All right, that was really funny. <laughs> Suck my fucking cock. <laughs> oh, they're talking to the rats, I think. I'm not really sure. One second, guys. And sorry about that, guys. Gabby came home right now. Ooh. <laughs> Fucking evolution, baby. Yeah, let's go uh, sort these guys out. <laughs> you little brown bastards. He's definitely... Ooh. Definitely talking about the, the monsters. I know there has been, like, casual racism in this game. Um, you know... Nope, right, we're definitely going down this way. It's the motherfucking apocalypse. Well, it may be. You know, maybe. Let's uh, come down here and start. Oh, hello. Throwing explosives at people. Ooh. Oh, beautiful. One down. Oh, God, there's another one as well. There's always more. Now, can they get up at me? Doesn't appear so. That's okay. Kind of want to find more Molotovs though. Molotovs are where it's at. We good? Think we're good. Alright, so we've only got one Molotov left, which is not fantastic. Makes me a little bit sad. Ooh. Now you're talking. I wouldn't say no to a nice big fucking flamethrower as well. Yeah, you keep going on about the apocalypse, dude. I'm not saying you're wrong. Oh. Yeah, you do that, pal. You do that. Oof. Yeah, uh, are you actually going to do anything or are you just going to stand there swearing at me? Yeah, dude. I wish I had a big goddamn flamethrower to take all those fuckers out. Yeah, are you dropping hints or no? Okay. I'm gonna squash them all. <laughs> He's gone quite mad. I'm a fan. Right, I guess we're not going that way. Nope. So are you coming with me, dude, or are you just gonna sit in your own shit over there? God, imagine that, a flamethrower. Hopefully, oh, we're back out here. Hopefully one day soon. Hey, I wonder if we're going to bump into our old friend, uh, I can't remember what he's called now. Seattle. Oh, it wasn't Seattle, was it? It was... Washington? I can't remember. That guy that got stuck in the toilet. Can't remember his name now. Hey, dude. I'm just convinced that the toilet was his favorite place to hang. Which, you know, is fair. That, you know, I, let's not judge, right? We've all got our weird kinks and fetishes. Some people like to hang around in toilets. And uh, I know this for a fact. Because um, I work outside, you know. And... Oh, hello. Um, my only access to facilities are public toilets when I'm at work. And, well, let's just say you you see the, the <clears throat> same faces hanging around. And if you think uh, they look like your standard creepy old men, you'd be right. Yeah. There's uh, certainly a certain stereotype hangs around men's toilets I guess female toilets as well I'm not sure oh yes no why why can't we wait a minute why can't we grab those son of a oh okay just had to like I guess activate the draw not sure oh All right. I uh, guess we gotta go sort the lighthouse out then. Can we not? 
teleport back? Guess not. Right, so, if I was a lighthouse, where would we be? We're not going back that way. Not sure why they need a lighthouse. Oh, hello. Hello, sir. Um, let's get. Oh, nope. We've got one of them. Excellent. Oi! What do you think of that? You like that? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Got a little hand that came out there. Well. No matter. Oof. Yeah, well done, pal. Well done. Don't worry. I got this. Oh, maybe I don't got this. I uh, possibly don't got this. Nope. Nope. Definitely, uh... Definitely the heavy gun doesn't really do sweet FA to these guys. And we're down to the TNT. Which is fine. I guess it's better than nothing. Really. Not by much, mind. Definitely going to need... Oh, fucking hell. You know what? It's almost worth just tanking those things. To be honest with you. Alright. Oh, God. Hello. Now, these guys... Go down just lovely with our machine gun. You know, we can do this all day for sure. And there's definitely a bit of an issue here. Yeah. Uh, the herd has been growing. Say the fields are full. But that's okay. The harvest is plentiful. Right, now we've got the heavy artillery, as our friend so aptly put it. Ooh, shrapnel grenade. That's new. Is it? Yep. Yep, that, that's new. Can we always open these containers? I wonder. Maybe we could have always opened these containers. Ah, oh, bullets. Not 100% sure, to be honest with you. One thing is for certain, I need to stop playing soon because I've got to go to bed because I've got work tomorrow. I've got a very important day at work tomorrow. Britain in bloom. Yay. Said no one on my team. Um, but I just want to like shoot monsters in the face, to be honest. Ooh, is that like three sections completed? Death be not proud. Is it like Okay, I'm pretty sure it was like pitch black before. We've gone through a door and now it's kind of light. Bit weird. Nope. She's all locked up, Chief. I guess we've got that door to go through. Or. Nope. Through the process of elimination, I guess we're going forwards. Definitely going to have to brighten this video up in. Oof. In editing. Because my uh, settings have reset. Right. Oh, we're not going through there. Hopefully this one opens. Hey! Well, he's dead. Somehow. Also, don't think we have to decapitate these guys anymore. Apart from the fact that it's a jolly good time. Oh, hello. Evening. Oh, wait. Hang on. Maybe you do. Yeah, maybe we still do. Well, he's decapitated. That auto aim actually is not doing us any favours here. Alright, you're gone. Ooh. Oh, they really don't hurt that much at all. We are running out of bullets here. 
Alright, how are we doing? Yep. Get out of here. Come on. Oh, you sack of shit. Yeah, I'm really confused at the difficulty, guys. I'm genuinely confused. Like, we just don't seem to really take a lot of damage at all. Uh, and the enemies are just so weak. That doesn't sound too promising. No, I... Ooh. Definitely needed those. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah, like these guys. I just get the feeling that the way these guys were set up, you think they're going to be really strong. Even though technically they're only the second enemy in the game. But they're really not. Oh, machine gun time. Maybe our weapons are just disgustingly overpowered. Absolutely get the feeling that the handguns are. Those pistols are brutal. Oh, hello. Oh. There's a drop there, apparently. Um, you can go down the hole. Who would have thunk it? Not this guy. Alright, let's try that again, shall we? There isn't actually anything around there at all. Son of a bitch. Yeah, um, interesting. But there, I thought this was going to be a horror game as well, and it really isn't. There's no way through. Right, let's get the old shotgun out. There we go. Ah, oh, rookie mistake. Now, obviously, the shotgun is just chunking these guys. Well, I wasn't even aiming at that guy's location and I managed to chunk him. Yeah, I'm guessing the shotgun's going to stop these guys coming back. Quite. Quite thoroughly. At least the ones that we blow to pieces, anyway. Come on, baby. There we go. That's a little bit off the top, mate. Nice. I love hearing that cartridge just, like, bouncing around on the floor as well. So very satisfying. Ah, batteries. Let's drop a save. Oh, I really don't want to stop playing. Evening! He's gone. I think. Nope. Yeah, definitely um, a little bit inconsistent with the amount of damage enemies take. Which, you know, isn't always a bad thing. Not, you know. In oh, no, 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 no. Ah, son of a bitch. We did save it, though. Thank fuck. That is in a really, really... Oh, yeah. That is in a really naughty little place, that. Not a fan. Just need to be a little bit careful, that's all. No running. He's not running. He's trying to shoot me. Okay, cool. Let's get some more shells in this thing. Unfortunately, the shotgun's Achilles heel is its really small magazine. But that's pretty standard for a shotgun. Wow. There's a couple of them, isn't there? Although, it does seem to do a good job at staggering. Which I am a fan of. Whew, okay. Managed to get through that. Ah, there's a machine gun on the roof there. Any goodies around? Um, and we... Definitely want to turn that light off. Now, the footsteps in this game are kind of strange. It certainly sounds like uh, it's coming from behind you. Which mm, is questionable. So, the flashlights, I guess, just give you a battery. Um, I mean, you know. 
It's no buggier than a modern game, I suppose. Are we going this way? Surely not. Nope. Unless we have to... Ah. Alright. You see what they did there? That's kind of cool. Ooh. Hello. Apparently that pissed the locals off. That's fine. No stranger to pissing off the locals around these parts. Shit. Although we don't like... Fought that. We don't like running out of shotgun ammo. That's for sure. Alright, now can we progress? Yep. Oof. Lighthouse. This way. Well, that makes sense. Can we Resident Evil 4 the situation? Actually, yes. <laughs> they didn't give you anything for doing that, though, I guess. Right, let's not fall off to our death if we can hold. Yeah, Tommy Gun's definitely the weakest get, uh, weapon in the game so far. Just my opinion. It just doesn't seem to have the pop and the, the excitement. Ooh, with the other weapons. Keep going. I think we lost him. Lost who? Oh. Watch out! Up there! Oh, Christ! <laughs> <laughs> Bar Escaping isn't as simple as just getting outside But I don't need to tell you that You know there is no real escape We'll see about that Okay Well I guess more people have survived. Well, I say survived. I mean, you know. They'd survived up until this point. There we go. Ooh. I mean, I suppose this gun does have a large magazine. The trouble with it is it just doesn't do a huge amount of damage. So, to that end, does it really matter that it has a large magazine? Uh... Molotov, don't mind if I do. Um, hmm, well, I'd say we're probably not getting in that way. Uh, oh, that cave. Oh boy, what could possibly go wrong here? Alright, this is fine. This is totally fine. Oh. Alright, we just kind of go the wrong way. Yeah, looks like we went the wrong way. What? The fuck? Is that our friend? Is that Clem? I'm not sure. Anyway, let's keep going. So, good thing this uh, hidden underground cave network was here. Would have been truly buggered without that, wouldn't we? I like it when a plan just comes together. Oh, uh, hello guys. Could you maybe not shoot me in the face? You bastards. Honestly. That's a bit naughty. Ooh. Not happy with that. I guess all fairs in love and war. Right, this is where things get a little bit delicate. My god. Let's take the big guys out first. I said take the big guys out first. Come on, talk. You're not listening, brother. There we go. Alright, you've lost your head. Both of you have lost your heads as well. This is good. Very good. Ooh. Excellent. 
Tommy gun ammo, the whole works. Just as we start to run out of supplies, well, the Lord giveth. Cool. Quite like having my shotgun back. I feel complete with my shotgun. Ah. Yeah, that's, that's potentially a problem. Well, let's just keep going. Oof, that's interesting. I guess they're executing prisoners of war or something here? Deserters or something? I'm not really sure. I know there was some story involving soldiers, but at the time of recording this, that was a while ago. There we go. Oh, the bodies are still there. So, memories of these men. Oh, God, hello. Still pretty strong. Good God, these guys. They feel like they're doing so much damage when they're really not. Oh, actually, you know what? Oh, that was a flashbang, wasn't it? Yeah, flash bangs seem like they would do more damage than they actually do. Right, might as well use them. Smoke them if you got them. Actually, they're not bad. Perhaps we should have been using them a little bit more. Yeah, I'm not sure if it really matters where you hit enemies. No idea if it makes a difference at all. Yeah, the auto aim kind of makes hectic battles a bit crazy because it's constantly pulling your reticle around. You know what doesn't do that? A mouse. There we go. I guess I could have done the PC version, but why bother when you've got the Xbox version? Oof. And deal with all the problems that a PC version probably have. Wow. It's just, uh, it just keeps going, huh? I'm guessing we can't turn that gun around on these guys. I mean, maybe we can. Not really sure. Can we? No. We are running out of pills, though. Hopefully, they're going to arm us up after this. Ow. Oh! Really? After all that? After all that? That was pretty savage. Ah, oh, no. Well, I think I'm going to have to leave it there, guys, because we're 30, uh, 38 minutes in. So better call it here, I guess. Um, yeah, some of these battles just really go on, don't they? Um, <laughs> I mean, to be fair, they're fun. But... I mean, the only time you really die is when you kill yourself by falling off the map. Uh, the combat itself, literally. I mean, bear in mind, we are playing on just like the normal difficulty. Uh, not easy. Oh, there's no, we didn't pick easy. Um, I'm going to actually go back now and check my first video. Definitely didn't accidentally pick easy. This is the normal standard difficulty. And... Yeah. <laughs> um... Yeah, the game is basically playing itself. Which is kind of my criticism of this game. Definitely could have been, um, yeah, dialed that difficulty up. Or maybe just not given as many, like, health supplies. Because I have never seen a game that doles out health like this. It's everywhere. It's impossible. Impossible to run out of health. Uh, it's almost like you're using cheat codes or something. But, you know, the game's fun. It certainly is fun. Uh, I'm not really sure if there's a way of, to be fair, of tactically playing the game anyway. Like, you know, enemies just kind of just run at you. 
um you know there's no cover system or blocking system or anything so i suppose you probably do need those health pickups everywhere or at least a regen health system i don't know anyway guys thank you very much for watching and as always till next time